from a good amount of people. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to hack Shenmue 1 to be able to play as alternate characters. Um, it's a little bit of a process, but uh, I'm going to simplify it as much as possible. This video is meant for people who really aren't that technical, so if you're somebody who likes to mod Shenmue and uh, you think that I might have done something wrong or said something wrong or something, constructive criticism only, and uh, yeah, because it's not really meant for that audience. It's meant for people who don't really understand this stuff, but want to have an interest. Uh, okay, so a couple of things you're going to need to get started. We're going to need a hex editor, which I'm using Hexed because it's free. It's easy to get. It's pretty much for every platform. Um, you're going to need a ripped copy of Shenmue or a copied copy. You need the files on a hard drive so you can mod them. Uh, I'm using the beta version of Shenmue 1 which uh, is mounted on my D drive, I'm sorry, on my F drive. And I have copied all of those files. Um, this is a current mod that I'm working on, but uh, I'm using the files from this. So this is a dump of the Shenmue game with some added files that we're going to need. Uh, aside from that, you're going to need a program called Bootmake. You're going to need a program called binhack32. And we're going to need a sample ip.bin. Um, that's so we can actually build the game and test it once we're done. So how do we do this? So first off, when you change the character you play as, you can only do it per map. Because um, the character reference or the model that gets referenced in the game is called from the map info file. And so we need to mod that map info file. And it's one map info per map. And when I mean map, I mean like a place you're in, like whether it's the Hazuki Dojo, whether it's the Buita, Sakura Gaoka, Yamanose. They all count as their own maps. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go into our folder that has the dumped Shenmue files. We're going to go into the scene folder and then 01 because this is disk 1 of the beta. You're going to be presented with a bunch of these subfolders. And uh, pretty much most of these are all just their own map with the exclusion of the stream folder. Uh, we're going to mod Dobuita, which is D000. So these are the files for Dobuita, and we are interested in this guy, mapinfo.bin. So first thing we're going to do is just make a quick copy of this. I'll just put a copy on the desktop for the hell of it, so that if we screw something up, we could just revert the file. Um, also, I do have the game actually mounted, so I could also take a backup from there, because that's read only. So we're going to take mapinfo.bin, and we're going to open it in our hex editor. And you're going to be presented with a bunch of code. So let me get this side by side. So this code right here is pretty much the hex representation of the code that pretty much creates Dobuita. And uh, there's a lot of stuff in here, whether it's reference points for models, reference points for motion data, uh, integrated physics. It's a bunch of interesting things in here. And one of the variables Actually, two variables we're interested in is uh, the variable that decides what character model gets loaded for the player. Um, so to be able to change who we're playing as, we need to edit that variable. So first thing you want to do is go to Shenmue Dojo. And uh, there is a post that's made by Master Kyodai regarding character model swapping. He provided this file that had a list of all character models. Uh, I kind of just made another post in the same thread, just with them on their own line. And uh, so here's our here's all the characters we can play as. Uh, some of these don't work, however, some of them do. Um, I know Guizan works, because I've used him. So we can take this line right here. What we're interested in is this variable reference, which is KIS underscore M. Alright, so this is how we do this. So we open up the hex editor. And what we're interested in is the variable name ykb underscore m and ykb underscore f. Um, those are the reference variables that load Real Hazuki's model in the game for the player. 
So what we want to do is uh, in Hexid, we're going to do a replace. We're going to search for YKB underscore M. And it auto completes because I've already done it. And we're going to take Guizon, which is KIS underscore M. And so we're going to replace that with uh, KIS underscore M. All right, so now we're going to replace all of them. It should be a couple of them. All right, so we got three occurrences. And now we're going to do the same with YKB underscore F. Uh, yes, underscore F with KIS underscore F. We're going to replace all. Okay, let me, uh, one thing you got to do is make sure you're at the beginning of the hex file. So replace y, YKB underscore F with KIS underscore F, replace all. So we place one occurrence. And just to be safe, let me do the same at the top of the hex file with the other variable. So YKB underscore M with KIS underscore M. Place all. So I believe that's it. So let's search for YKB underscore M. No, nothing. And just to be safe, let's search backward in the file. All right. And let's find again YKB underscore F. Can't find it. Search, find, let's go forward. Can't find YKB underscore F. Okay, so that should be it. KIS underscore F. All right, so. There should be all the reference points. So we're gonna go ahead and save this file. And that should be all that we need to actually do to get it to uh, change the character model for Rio to Guizan in Dobuita. All right, so now how do we test this? Uh, this is where it gets a little, little more weird. Um, so what we need to do is we need to make a bootable copy of this now modded Shenmue. And to do this... Um, we need to run binhack32 in the command line. So cd desktop, cd, uh, what is this, bike mod, cd, right, uh, cd data, uh, binhack32. So the name of the binary is going to be first underscore read dot bin. The boot sector is going to be ip dot bin, and the value for the MS info is 11702 for any Shenmue game. All right, and then we get the successfully hacked and successfully created. Uh, what what this is is ip.pin uh, .bin is a file that the Dreamcast looks for to authenticate. So when the Dreamcast boots a disk, it looks at ip.bin and checks it against first read.bin and if it finds whatever it's looking for, it's like okay, this game's legit and it boots it. Um, that that's a really really dumbed down explanation, but that's pretty much what's going on. It's like a little authentication handshake. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to run boot make, and we want to just set the source directory, which in this case is going to be bike mod data. Uh, the ip.bin is going to be the one we just created, which is this folder, data, and then ip.bin, open that. All right, so the temp ISO and the destination file is just kind of whatever you want, and we click make. Now it's going to compile a bootable CDI image that you can test in an emulator or uh, burn it to a disk and actually play it on the Dreamcast. And assuming that your hex hacks are correct, it should work. So we just got to wait for this to finish, and I'm going to speed up the video so that you don't have to wait through the whole process. It takes about five minutes on my laptop. <laughs> Okay, so it's done compiling a uh, self-bootable CD, CDI image. So we're going to go and test that. So you can see we got that all done. Okay. 
All right, so we have null DC started, and here's our new file right here. So we're just going to go to File, Normal Boot, and assuming you have everything set up correctly, it should just launch the Dreamcast ISO and pass ip.bin through the authentication. And, uh, okay, so yep, it passed. So that means our ip.bin was hacked correctly. Uh, you're going to hear some weird audio glitches just because I'm filming, um, and this uh, emulator has issues when you film. So we're going to reset the system because I missed the prompt. The prompt for the debug menu. Okay, so here's the debug menu, and since we're testing Dobuita, we're gonna have scene 01, area's gonna set to D000, and we wanna use entry point 01. So let's see if it worked. And there you have it. We are now playing as Guizon. So that's pretty much how you do it. It's a really simple hack. Just a couple lines in hex you need to change. And uh, just for the hell of it, I'll show you Guizan uh, fighting Rio. Now mind you, when you do this, he's still going to have Rio's voice because you're not actually editing the AFS packaging. So. <laughs> Alright, so there you have it. So now we can fight as Guizon. It's cool stuff. Alright, so that's about it. Uh, that's how you do it. And uh, like I said, it's not complicated. It's actually very, very simple. So, alright guys.